What's up, people? This is Andreas 13 from the African American Media Network. Here we are, Los Angeles, California, right here at the corner of Highland and Hollywood Boulevard, I think. And we're at the, I guess it's like the corporate offices of Revolt TV. And it's closed, which is kind of appropriate for what probably might happen to the channel. Recently, this channel had to lay off 50 of its employees. Is anybody home? Is anybody in there? I'm gone. What Revolt TV did when Puffy got this channel awarded to him, he went around and he hired a bunch of music executives to run a TV channel. Now, I'm not the one to disrespect a billionaire by a long ways. Puffy, accomplishments have been tremendous, and I give him accolades for what he's done with Bad Boy Entertainment, for what he's done with Ciroc, as well as Sean John. You guys seen me on past TV shows. I have worn Sean John business suits for my news broadcast, so I'm not hating on him, but what I will say is that there is a pioneer and there's a legend in the TV game. MTV ripped this brother off when they made Yo! MTV Raps. Okay, this brother is celebrating 20, I mean, sorry, 35 years of TV broadcasting. The original video DJ, hip-hop, Uncle Ralph McDaniels from Video Music Box. Now... Clearly, Puffy has a long history with Ralph McDaniels and Video Music Box. They broke a lot of Biggie stuff, a lot of Shine stuff, and Ralph has broken all hip-hop artists through the ages on Video Music Box. So for him to be overlooked as an executive of Revolt TV, to me, is one of the most counterproductive things that I've ever seen our new wave billionaires do. We got Jay-Z, billionaire, Puffy, billionaire, uh, Master P, billionaire, and we could go on. But the thing is, guys, I know you're rich and you don't want people to tell you what to do. I know you got a lot of people kissing your ass. And I know you think that because people went and got a four-year education, they know what the fuck they're talking about. But I would tell you that not just Ralph McDaniels could take Revolt TV to a channel that it could be, but somebody such as myself. I am an investigative news reporter of 25 years. Started hip-hop with a big rap group. You know who the rap group I'm affiliated with. I'm not even going to say their name. But my whole point is that you're not following the format of a successful TV channel. You're just not following that format. Every successful TV channel had a pioneer in the field. Puffy, if you're going to take Revolt TV to the next level, you need two things. You need the experience of Ralph McDaniels, and secondly, you need his vision. You need his experience and his vision. The Bible says, if a man has no vision, he shall perish. That's why Revolt TV has not found its identity. And it never will as long as you got a bunch of kids that knew nothing of hip-hop. They just graduated and got a degree and just learned course study. Hip-hop was something that came out of our hearts and our minds and our soul. So going to get all of these educated, whoever they are, you know what? That's not going to take Revolt TV to where it's got to go. So I'm not trying to diss you, and I'm not trying to let you know that your channel is never going to make it, but I'm letting you know it's never going to make it. Get Uncle Ralph with Video Music Box experience and his wisdom, and then when you need to establish the news reporting aspect, I mean, I'm not just saying fluff, but, you know, you want to make a thing that makes Black Lives Matter, you need to get a reporter like me 
to bring that level of investigations up. Because right now, I'm the head of my unit at the Nassau County Sheriff Department Discrimination Bias Unit. For 25 years, I've been the chief executive officer of the African American Media Network in Long Island, the black news organization of investigators, reporters. And for those same 25 years, I've been the lead reporter for the TV show broadcast on Cablevision Channel 25, Long Island, the African American news for 25 years. So it's all good that you got the educated people with the little college degrees, but they college degrees don't mean shit when it comes to hip hop. We started hip hop in the streets. And those people who have came through the ranks and elevated themselves to television from the streets of hip hop, those are the executives that are gonna make your shit go to the level of a multi-billion dollar channel that it can be. So what I would say is some of those people that you fired, they had to go. And as well, your new president, the new president you got, no. You're going to give her that high pie salary. She's going to give you all of these buzzwords. And she's going to give you a market description of your demographic that you would like to attract. And it's going to be another flop because she ain't got no vision. And on that note, I'm going to close out and say once again, if this place is going to rise to the name of Revolt, you better get you some visionary pioneers in television and news broadcasting for this network of hip-hop extravagance. Okay, yeah, I know big words. That's what you're going to need. So all of these new jacks, no. Uncle Ralph McDaniels, Video Music Box, 35 years, Puffy. Are you out of your mind? 35 years, and, he, and you don't think he could take this to where it's got to go? Look, man, I solve murders. I investigate murders and discrimination on black people, brother. This is a joke, the people you got working for you. Because guess what? We did it for free. They doing it for the money. That's what's disrespectful. We about the culture. And on that note, I'm going to say, this is Andreas 13. If you're not watching the African American news, your television isn't on. And remember, you could die for a cause, but don't die because.